yes, great. The way to get images working in um, C++ slash SFML is the following. So I'm gonna make a new project. If you can't get your SFML project working from the Google Drive, I've got a, actually a good fix that I can pass along to you later, but there is a YouTube video on like kind of a, a hack to get it working. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a project, call it, uh, I got a whole bunch of projects because I was, I was testing something out, but here we go. Rut row. There we go. Okay. I'll close my other projects. Close project. Great. <laughs> close project. Let's see if it draws the uh, the token green circle on the screen here. Because every SFML project that uh, you create in here has a template where it's 800 by 600 window and it just draws a green circle. time it runs it always takes a while because it's running from the Google Drive so it's got to kind of find all these files off the web unfortunately I recommend using a USB key if you want it to run faster especially initially but Google Drive's fine and you can run it from home that way too okay so great green circle on the screen correct now I'm gonna delete the green circle right there and all of its subsequent options that go along with it. I also have to get rid of my window.drawShape now because I no longer have a shape variable, a circle shape variable that's gonna draw. So I will get an error and it'll say, I've never heard of shape. What are you asking me to draw kind of thing, right? Yeah, shape was not declared. So I'll delete that as well. All right, great. Now I'm going to, um, uh, Instead of putting a shape on the screen, I'm gonna put a picture. So I'm just gonna go online and find a cool image of something gamey, right? Like how about uh, Sonic? Now I'm gonna use the word sprite because in video games, oftentimes when we talk about images or characters that appear on a screen, we call them sprites, okay? It's just a video game word that gets used a lot in coding, okay? And uh, in the next lab, we'll learn how to animate sprites, which is why we see these kind of sprite sheets with a whole bunch of different pictures, because we're gonna grab from these oh pictures God. and animate, okay? For now, I just wanna find one kind of picture, maybe something like this, or oh, like this guy. Unfortunately, that's two of them, though. Wait, can we not do two of them? Yeah, you could. I'm just gonna grab this guy, because he looks very, you know, like the old Sega. Whatever, so I'm gonna go save image as. Now, um, I need to save this. Okay, PNG is a good file type. There, uh, there are a few file types that uh, SFML can open. I'm gonna save this where my project is, by the way. That's important when you wanna open pictures. Your program's not gonna know where to look unless you save it in the, fo in the folder where your project is. So I'm gonna give it a smart name like Sonic so it's easy to type as well, okay? The default name was something bonkers. I do not wanna have to type that file name in my program and hope I type it right, right? So I will call it Sonic. Now, if I go to my folder where my project is, I should see a Sonic file in there. My drive, programming, there you go, Sonic. This is a, probably a big image, actually. I might shrink this image a little bit. 
Maybe we'll do that after, okay? I'll shrink it in a minute. But it says here that it is um, 800 by 1200. That's going to be bigger than my screen, but fine, whatever. So um, let's go and uh, create this sprite, okay? So the variable type or the object type, I guess. We don't really call them variables when they're more complicated, like we call them objects. But I'm just going to call it S1, okay? And that's where I'm going to load my Sonic onto that. So I'm going to go ahead and make a window dot draw. And I'm going to put S1 in there for my draw command. So that's going to draw my Sonic uh, 60 times a second. So if I run that, nothing will show up, but it will run. Give it a sec there. Okay, great. Black screen, okay, didn't draw anything. So the second step I have to make is, this is gonna be my Sonic picture, okay? What I have to do first is load a texture into the memory of my video card, okay? So I'm just gonna call that T1, and that's where I'm gonna load my image, and I'm gonna set that image in the memory of my computer, and then I'm gonna pin that image onto my sprite. It's kind of a two-step process. So. Let's see what my options are for my texture object, okay? This is the variable that's gonna hold my image. So I wanna load, there's a bunch of options, none of which we'll use in this class. The only one we'll ever use on a texture for now is load from file, okay? And load from file is asking for a string with the file name. So I could even make a variable and give it uh, let it equal my file name or I could just write in quotes the file name and that will work as well so t1.load from image now my file is called sonic.png uh, if you want to see the full name of your file ever in the file tree here just go view and, and click on file name extension hopefully it'll show you the name of the file there it is file.sonic.png so that's working nicely. Let's see if I can zoom in on that so you can see it. Sonic.png, great. Okay, so I got my picture. I've got it loaded. I'm going to run my program quickly just to make sure I don't get any error messages. If this is the wrong file name or can't find this file, I will get an error message that says can't find sonic.png. Let me show you. Okay, I didn't get any error messages there. Had I spelt this wrong and put Sonic 1, I think it spits out an error. I think it'll say cannot open that texture. Yes, failed to load sonic1.png. Reason, unable to open file. Okay, so it does spit out a little error message. That's good news. However, I have my file, and it is the right name, and it will open. The last thing I need to do is go s1.setTexture. Okay, so this is kind of two-step process. Make your sprite, make your texture, just two variables. Load your texture from your file, and then set it onto your sprite. Kind of weird that you have to do it that way. It's looking for the name of my texture, so I just write T1 in brackets. And now, since I have my draw command, it should draw that Sonic on the screen. Okay. Let's have a look-see. It's probably gonna be really big. There he is. <laughs> okay. um, Suppose I want to shrink him and get like a clearer background and stuff. It actually might be a bit of a pain in the butt on this one, but let's go and uh, here's what I would recommend, okay? To get that picture to be clear and also to get that picture to be smaller. So I'm gonna to go to my Sonic file here. I'm gonna right click on it. And I'm gonna open this with, um, so under open with, I'm gonna open it with Photoshop. You could do this online as well. There's some online um, picture editors that you could use. I think Photoshop is like 
elements is fine for what I need to do with this picture. Okay, so I found an image that actually opens in, uh, or I had to save it somewhere and then resave it, get it to open in Photoshop. Here's what I do now. I double click on this lock button. Don't ask me why you have to do that, okay? Then I click this magic wand button and I'm gonna try to delete the background of the Sonic so that it's actually deleted. It was kind of fake deleted from the picture I got there. You see those little checkerboards there, but that actually deletes the background of my Sonic. Um, how big is this guy? That's a good question. Uh, how do I get pixels in here? It says it's 29 centimeters by 42 centimeters. That's pretty small. Let's save them. So I'm gonna hit save. I don't know what that's asking. I do wanna save it as PNG, hit okay. Okay, I just want a, a sprite with a clear background, with no background. PNG files are the best for that. So if I run this now, hopefully my Sonic is a little Sonic on the screen with no background. Hopefully. Whoa, he's still huge. Okay, so I'm going to resize him in uh, Photoshop. I'll just go image, resize, I guess. And I'll say image size. And I'll probably do pixels because I'm used to... Where the heck's pixels? Are we gonna have to proficient in this thing you, sir? Pickas, what's that? It's Photoshop editing. Are yeah. Are No, not at all. Look at it, it says it's, um, it says it's height and width. I'm gonna do percent. So right now it says it's 800 by 1200. I'm gonna like shrink them to 10% of that size. Whoa. Okay. Doesn't really like change on the screen, but apparently it did change the size. It's gonna be a smaller file. Let's run that. Dang it. I guess it didn't change them. Hold on. Image resize percent 10. Resample image? Okay, I guess I had to click on resample image. What a pain in the butt. Hit okay. There he is. That's gonna be him on the screen now. Thank goodness. Save. Okay. You could find better pictures online. I just happened to grab one that was not very good for uh, this project. But there's Sonic right there. Okay. He's on the screen. He's got the uh, clear background, which is nice. I can move him around if I want. Let me put a move command on there for him. Right. S1.move. Maybe like five and zero, something like that. <clears throat> run, run, run. Look at that. I just made Sonic move across my screen. Yeah, S1.move. I can make a move down. I'll put five and seven there. There he goes. You could even make him like bounce off the walls and stuff. So that's how you get a picture loaded into C++, okay? So try to do that today. Make that